Just got a check. Just flipped it on a home for a jet. Just got a new friend. Just cut a check. And all of my commas, they disrespect. And hello and welcome to Tuesday. Hello, hello, hello. You might be wondering, she's in her classroom. What? Yes, I am in my classroom today because I said last week that I would be here because I have the interwebs. Right now, I need to set up. I'm gonna set my laptop up right here. And I'm just gonna teach from this desk my math for today. Ouch. And that is how I'm gonna do that. So I'm trying to see, yes. I am teaching from the classroom because it is so much better than working from home right now. So let me get my stuff. Alright, I don't like my setup, but it's what I have, so I'm going to work with it. Over the weekend, my awesome Amazon package came. And it came with my uh, place values chart that I can do with the kids on Zoom. So, I was happy with this investment. I think this was only $10 on Amazon, and I had Amazon Prime, so of course it came within a day. So I was very, very happy about this purchase. It makes doing place values so much easier if I can just put them on here. And I'm looking for the decimal. It's called a place values flip chart. I love that. And then decimal is on this side. And regular comma is on that side. It sits down. Yes, I was looking for that part. Okay. We're doing something today, guys. We're doing something. Over the weekend, I had an epiphany. And I told myself, you're going to understand this math. You're going to teach it and you're going to understand it. So I told myself today only good thoughts good vibes only and that is what i am working with um i do want to look at their math really quick before i get back on zoom with them my kids when we started this morning they looked very very out of it very out of it and then i said all right we're gonna do a little asynchronous time right now and when you come back, look energized, people. If I'm here, you're here. <laughs> they looked at me like, crazy lady, stop talking to us. The teacher burnout is starting to become like real. It's, it's becoming real. Um, I counted down the days to this holiday and I'm so mad that it ended. So mad that it ended. I I really wish I had another holiday. But for right now, I need to hurry up and do this math and then get back on with my kids. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, so math went pretty, pretty well today. I don't know why this is the biggest struggle in life. I took more notes, so I have tons of notes. And then I also used my place values charts that went all the way back and then i also put it on the board to make it bigger for those who have glasses and they can't really see that well so i feel like it was a success and then they asked for their math homework to do for lunch and i said why not if you want to finish this at lunch by all means do that but you better make sure that you eat at lunch too so we are on lunch right now i'm gonna run up to target i need to get the magnetic type of strips or maybe velcro velcro strips to put my lights up because i'm tired of looking at them on the floor i just kind of want them on this bulletin board and then i also needed to get something else for my classroom so i'm gonna use my lunch time to go do that right now so i went to target and i got these really cool strips so let me have a target haul really quick target haul time okay I went crazy and got some some of my favorite gummy bears. The only piece of candy that I can eat. I had to because nobody else sells these. And I can't order them because when I tried to order these last month, 
they came melted and it just wasn't good okay i saw a teacher youtuber who had this who had this on her channel and she put it in her chair i believe on in in her her library and i went to target because i was looking for the hooks for the lights to go on the whiteboard and i saw it i was so excited that i saw this so i had to get that and it was only five dollars i can't believe they still have teacher things out and then i also got this pillow that says good vibes good vibes and on the back it's like rainbows and psychedelic so i love this and then i got a lesson planner remind me to take attendance this was only three dollars and it's really cute and it's really big i like it i might use it i have so many different planners and situations going on i think i'm definitely going to use that though and then i got this other planner and it's just all the subjects on it which i love 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 oh this one is a little bit different this one has oh important websites expenses Oh, long range planning. It has like graph paper in it. And then it has student contact details, staff contact information, classroom events and calendars. Oh, attendance. Attendance is in here. It's a lot of attendance. Oh, this is cool. Uh, in the back of it, oh, redo assignment tracker. In the back, it's certificates. We missed you. Oops, did you forget? Please fill out the assignment. Your work is out of this world. Most likely to brighten up someone today. This was only $3, and this one is completely different from this one, and I'm here for it. I love both of these equally, equally. I hate going to Target because Target... Target will have you spending $100 on two bags and will leave you wondering, how did I spend $100 on just two bags? I'm so confused. That's Target for you. I hate going into Target. I got my hooks that I'm going to be putting on my whiteboard in a few minutes for this. I went to Target and spent a grip of money and only got two bags. My other Target bag is full of popcorn and more gummy bears. <laughs> So I was very excited with this Target haul. It was a small one, but it was a beneficial Target haul. Very beneficial. So the main reason, the main reason I went to Target was to get a really big shipping envelope to send some stuff back to Sheen. So I did accomplish that. I almost walked out of there without it and then I had to catch myself. I had to catch myself and I said, Raven, what did you come in here for? Because Target does this on purpose. They put those attention-grabbing teacher things right in the front of the store when you walk in. So it catches your eye. I love their marketing strategy with this because I'm a sucker. So it catches your eye and then you're like, well, what other teacher things do they have? Ooh, they have this. Ooh, what about that? Wait a minute, how much is this? And then your cart starts to add up. It starts to add up in price. And then by the end of the time you get to the to the checkout, you've easily spent a hundred and something dollars on a couple items. So, no more Target for me. I can't go back now. I have to come up with something for ELA. For the ELA clinic. I know what I'm doing for science and I also know what I'm doing for I also know what I'm doing for ELA when I get my kids back. We need to finish our paragraph. Our first supporting details paragraph for our narrative essay. So I need to get a roll on some things. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I made it to the end of the day. I just want to eat this lip gloss. That's how I feel. Okay, I need to put this laptop stand together. I brought this really cool laptop stand off of Amazon to help me while I am here. No advertisements, I, five people watch me, so definitely no advertisements. But 
I needed a laptop stand so that way when I'm using the student's desk to do the work on I have something that makes my laptop stand higher than right here so I did not know that I would have to put this together and I don't have I don't have the brain capacity to put this we just like did math at the end and that's all I gotta say we did we did some math we did math earlier and then we did some more at the end and I just um whew. okay so this is what it looks like as soon as you open it I can definitely put the link down below I believe this was $39.95 on Amazon it comes with this handy dandy I think this is the stand. I'm gonna open it. Oh, this came in it too, as well. So it's easy installation. That's all you need, and it comes with it. Boom, right there. You're gonna pop this open. Let me let me show you what I'm what I'm working with over here. Excuse the math book, but that's gonna stay there for right now. So we have that. Oh, it comes with two pieces. So we have this piece and we have this piece. So this piece goes on top. This piece goes on the bottom. Connect part one and part two with four screws. So you're gonna take your screw. I mean, you're gonna take your your stand. I'm pretty sure it goes. One down! A thousand more to go. Oh, we're gonna flip this up to the top. And then we're gonna connect this piece to this piece. There's no way that this goes. <laughs> There's no way. Story of my life. <laughs> this is how it came out. It's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be like, connect like going that way not not this way look at this okay because look at this picture that is going the right way that's going the right way and then this is how it can there's no way there's just no way you're supposed to swivel it oh my gosh why didn't I just look at this it tells you 360 degree. Listen, I was gonna leave it like that. I wasn't even gonna send that back. It wasn't even worth the hassle of so I was just gonna have a pretty malfunction laptop stand. <laughs> but this is what the laptop stand looks like. And let me put my laptop on it to see the masterpiece. This is what it looks like with the laptop on it which makes it so much easier to have a little bit of height. Um, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, awesome, blessed night. I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday's vlog on another episode of What Are We Doing Today? <laughs> um, I was midway through getting ready to go up to the school because I'm on this like one day streak of being up there and working for my classroom and then my teacher friend calls me and tells me that I need to take over for her class today because they got rid of substitutes 
I am the substitute. <laughs> so, I was mid primer. I was mid makeup primer on my face. And I said, okay, now I need to figure out what I'm doing for your class and my class because we're not doing the same exact thing. Similar, but not the same thing. So, stopped what I was doing, came into the office slash gym room slash everything room, and I'm just thinking about what I am going to be doing with my teacher friend's class. Uh, so, a little stressed. Um, slightly stressed out, like just a little. And then I don't know if my university supervisor is going to be observing me today. I don't know if my mentor is going to pop in. Oh, I feel the stress. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. All right, anyways, I'm about to get on the Zoom and do my thing. Okay, so I'm very grateful that we have PE right now. Let me show you my schedule for the day. I'm able to piece something together that I can do with both classes at the same time. This is my schedule for today. But I forgot we don't have ELA clinic on Wednesdays because we get out early. So, instead of doing that, that helps, that helps. So, I just need to figure out what we're doing after lunch, essentially. I can have my kids do the essay writing process when we come back from lunch instead of the ELA clinic because math seems to take us an hour to do anyways. Hmm. I know we're gonna be doing our benchmark book from 120 to 145. And that's only like 25 minutes. I might make this go longer. Ugh, let me see, let me see something. I, I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish writing. I have my launch video. We're gonna do the essay writing after lunch. I'm going to make math be for an hour. <laughs> Supporting people. Yeah, get rid of this. And then make this be from 9.15 to 10 30. I know you're wondering why is math so top heavy it's because it takes a minute for everything to click that's why math is very very top heavy um they're not gonna get an additional break today because we're only gonna be on after lunch for an hour and a half so it wouldn't make any sense to do another break I mean I could squeeze a break I could. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Essay writing process. All right. That's my lunch. That is my whole lunch. But it doesn't take that long. Huh. <laughs> I can do... 12.30 to 1, we can do essay writing. I guess I can put another break just to smooth it out. gonna make that be the break okay so this is our our agenda for today journal PE that's what they're doing right now a break they come back to me we do math we do math for an hour 
and then we have lunch and then we do our essay writing and then we do another break and then we do water factor fiction which is ELA and then I'll let them go at 150 pretty much and then we'll be done for the day <sighs> yes that's so that's my plan for today I hope that this works out I have a feeling it's gonna work out I have survived subbing with another teacher's class and my class together. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It was uneventful because I was taken over for another class at the last minute and I was not able to plan accordingly. I had to like scrap all of my plans for today and I'm just gonna push them to tomorrow. I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, bye. Hello everybody and a very, very, very happy Thursday, yes, one more day until the weekend. Okay, so it is now lunch. I just had to record my lesson for my for my class. And um, it went really well. This is what they were working on today, adding decimals using a place value chart. And I love having them use whiteboards. They are just so convenient. And it is so much easier. Mine looks very sloppy because I'm going back and forth and back and forth. And then, of course, I took notes. Of course, I took notes before I taught the lesson. So, this was a very good lesson to record. And I could not be happier about me recording this lesson. <sighs> so, today, I am very, very sad that I'm losing my teacher friend. And I'm not going to have anybody to talk to all over again. Um, while I'm here, I'm studying for this very heavy duty test with all of these papers. Today they're going to have a water cycle test that I'm going to create on Kahoot. It's not really like a, a standardized test. I think they want us to shy away from standardized testing right now because the kids are going to be doing their state test next week. So there's that. I've already assigned them their math homework to do while they're on lunch, if they would like to. I only, said, uh, I, I only said if you would like to, so that it wasn't any pressure. I need to find something better than making Kahoot games that is not a test test or a quiz quiz, if you know what I mean. So I need to figure that out today. I need some suggestions about what I can use to make it like a quiz like situation for them to do but not a quiz it can't be a quiz okay so I think I'm gonna end my vlog here for today I have so much going on I have meetings I have everything um borderline burnt out um <laughs> I'm just tired so I'm gonna leave it off for here for today bye Hello, 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 and happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday, last day of the week. All right, so it's the end of the day. I have the worst toothache of my life. I was supposed to get a root canal. I should have did it when I had the opportunity because now the tooth just feels some type of infected. I'm talking weird because it hurts so bad. So I'm going to make this quick, but I had to say goodbye to my teacher friend today and welcome my other person from my credential program. Of course, of course my camera battery just died. So rude, so rude. But this is a development that I just have to share. I just came up on the biggest teacher haul ever. I got some teacher stuff. I got some really good teacher stuff. The previous teacher told me that I could take whatever I can out of their classroom. I have permission because they are not coming back. And I just came up, well, excuse that. Look, look at the math manipulatives. I love those. And do you know how expensive these are? Oh my gosh. And then I have some tape. I have an unopened box of prefixes, suffixes, and stems. I'm not talking correctly. This is going to be like a prize or something. I have index cards. I have dividers. I have crayons. I have some books. I'm so excited for the books. I have some more blocks. So happy about that. I have a human anatomy model. 
I have a human anatomy model of a brain. I have this awesome atom and molecule 3D situation. I got three of these. And then I have these dice that talk about informational text. You just roll the dice. This is on literature. What is the central message, lesson, or moral? I have tons of headphones. Do you know how much headphones are? I don't think you know. I got like some bingo chips. I think that's what I'll use these for. Some popsicle sticks. This is going to be a part of like maybe social studies, these swords. And then I got two more of those. And then I have some dry erase markers, more headphones that are not opened. I just came up and I'm so excited. <clears throat> I could not be happier. And then, and then yesterday when I was walking to the office, this very, very nice woman who I've never met before told me, hey, do you need furniture in your class? And I said, yes, yes I do, how did you know? And so then she explained how she found out and she said, I have this cabinet that I'm not using. It is a two-sided cabinet. I'm trying so hard not to talk on this side of my face. I have an appointment tomorrow early in the morning as an emergency. I hope, I hope that I make it. It hurts so bad. Um, so she said she had a two-sided cabinet for me. This is my new cabinet. I'm definitely going to use it. It has hooks. This reminds me of what I used with the first graders. It was so awesome. It's hard to close it. It doesn't like to stay closed. Hopefully it stays closed. On the back side, it's the same. It's two-sided. This has been the happiest day of my life, and I did not have to pay for it. I have spent so much money on supplies. It is crazy how much money I've spent. But I just wanted to get on here and say that my day is done. It's 4 o'clock. I was talking to my new teacher friend, <laughs> and I have to meet with my tutor in a few minutes, so I have to get home. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Have a beautiful weekend, and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye. Fit, take a flick. See my fit. It's a fit. It's a fit. See my fit. It's a fit. Yeah, I'm fit. Take a flick. See